This video will show you how to create a portfolio in Blackboard. Uh, now this process can be a little bit involved and a little finicky. So if you have trouble with it, feel free to contact me um, or you know walk away from it for a moment. But basically to begin, you want to navigate over to the upper right hand corner of your Blackboard where you see your name and any notifications that you have. Click on that arrow to reveal a drop down menu and then you want to go all the way to the bottom and click on tools. When you've done that it brings you to a whole new set of links and then you want to click on portfolios. Uh, doing that will take you to a screen and um, it will give you the option to create a portfolio and uh, there's also a sample one that I've created here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a portfolio and then walk you through my new portfolio and the sample portfolios that I've made in the past. So when you click on create portfolio, um, it will ask you for a title. All right, so I'm going to call this example portfolio for video and just give a brief explanation of what it is. Um, your description should be whatever text you want your audience to be able to see so that they know if they need to look at that portfolio or not. All right, so brief description here. Um, I am leaving the available checkmark if for whatever reason you don't want it to be available yet you can unclick that but honestly no one can see the portfolio until you share a snapshot with them anyway so um, it's not really an issue nobody's going to be able to look at your work until you decide you want them to look at, at your work okay um, so click submit and it does this lovely thing where it offers to give you a tour of getting started with portfolio. Now, I highly recommend that you take the tour. I'm going to go through it very quickly, um, but you should go through it and take your time uh, so that you have a good sense of how to use the portfolio. But when you click on take the tour, it will show you the different things that you can do. So you can add a header to your portfolio and I'll show you how this turns out when you do go ahead and add like you can do it right there um, in the tour uh, then it will show you how to navigate through your portfolio there are two different types of items in your portfolio so there are pages and there are sections you think of your pages as like a folder and your sections as the documents within that folder so um, for if for instance you're using this portfolio for the arguing and multimedia project you might decide you just want one page and that page is the arguing and multimedia project and then each checklist item is a new section or you might decide that um, your checklist items have some artifacts things like documents or images or whatever that you want to um, collect and collate to be associated with one particular checklist item. In that case, you would want to create one page per checklist item and then each section would allow you to have a new artifact there. Um, it's also helpful to have a sense of what the little icon buttons do. So the plus mark creates a new page, um, the trash can deletes a page, and then the arrow keys allow you to reorder the page or section. Next, it will show you how you can insert a section within your page. So this would be like adding a new document into your folder. Uh, it also shows you what you can do within the portfolio screen. So this is, these little settings are different from Blackboard. And before you can submit a snapshot, uh, which for the Arguing and Multimedia Project is the way that you share your portfolio with your instructor, with me for grading, you have to click Done Editing. That's the only way to get to the sharing screen. Um, and I'll tell you more about snapshots in just a moment but the tour tells you what these different buttons do. This is very helpful to know that the little compass icon here will 
bring you back into this tour. So let's say you've gone through it and you're like, yeah, yeah, I totally get that. But then later you forget how something works or you forget how to do something. You can always access the tour again by clicking on the compass. Um, and you can also show the instructions by clicking on the um, question mark. And that's the tour that the portfolio will guide you through when you go to create a portfolio. So it's quite handy. Uh, so now I've got this sample portfolio, but I'm actually going to cancel it. Well, I'll show you a little bit about artifacts. So again, you've got your page and then your section is embedded in that page. You can see that page one, this would be a title. The little pencil icon indicates that you can edit the title by clicking on it. Um, and then the the section has room for artifacts. An artifact would be anything you would upload. So if you have something on your computer that you want to upload, like an image um, or a document or something like that, you would click here to add that. And then if you want to type something into your section, you would click in the uh, right, I think it said right text section there, but it, it brings you to this text box manager. And so this is where you would type information. Okay. Oh, click here to add content. That's what it was that said. And you can add footers to your portfolios just like you can add headers to them. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel on this because I've already got a sample portfolio set up over here. And let's say you've got more than one portfolio going, you just head right over to my portfolios. And you can see I've got a few going right now. So there are a few things that you can do when you're in your portfolio screen. You can click view. That will open up a screen that shows you what your portfolio looks like. And I have created uh, a sample of the multimedia project. And you want to include your cool title. So your project should be engaging. The title should draw the audience in, remember. And so my title is Why Ninjas Are Better Than Pirates, a study. I'm drawing on some pop culture ideas in terms of ninja and pirates, but I'm evoking a kind of ethos by calling it a study. Um, and so what you can see here is Ninjas, a history is the only page that I have right now. And then this information right here is a section page. So I've got the section title, the historical origin of ninjas, and then I've got the section content that I typed in. So that's, this is what it looks like once you've gone through those steps that we looked at in the tour. Um, and you can click over here to customize your style in some way. Um, I don't know what the different layouts look like off the top of my head, but you can choose some different um, colors and, and that sort of thing. All right. And if you've made any changes, you might want to click save. Or if you're worried that you've made changes and you don't want to, you can click cancel. All right. So now I'm going to close that and show you how to share. So when you are ready to submit your portfolio, you will need to share a snapshot of that portfolio. To do that, you need to be in the My Portfolios screen and click on the More button. Why it's not more apparent how to share, I don't know, but click on More and then get to the Share screen. Now this is one of the areas where the portfolio system is quite finicky. Now, you can see that I have already shared a snapshot of this portfolio. And in order to share a new one, I have to remove this snapshot. So I'm going to click the selection button and choose to remove this snapshot. Um, and what that does is it prevents a user that you've shared a snapshot with from being confused about which version they're looking at. So if you send them a new snapshot, that's the newest version and they will be looking at the new version, not the old version. That way they can't be looking at both the old and the new version at the same time. So this is usually what your snapshot or what your share screen will look like when you begin. And then you want to click on share a snapshot with. Now, you would think because this course is in Blackboard and we're all Blackboard users that you would click users. However, um, that almost 
always fails to work. <laughs> so we're going to click on external users. This is the absolute easiest way to do it. You want to type in the email address of the person you're trying to share it with, which should be me. So my email address, kaldebo at clemson.edu. And you might want to include any uh, special instructions here. This is the body of the email and this is the subject of the email. So if you want to change any of that, then do so. Decide if you want to send a copy to yourself. I highly recommend that. Whenever you're sending an email through Blackboard, it's a great idea to choose to send a copy to yourself. And if you are feeling very protective of the content in your portfolio, you can um, use a password, include the password in the email. Um, you can choose if there's an expiration for the snapshot. I do not recommend that for your submission of your arguing and multimedia portfolio to me because um, if I can't access it, I can't grade it and, you know, we don't run, want to run into that. So once you've got the email address, the email information and all that set, then click submit and it will share a snapshot. Okay, and so now you've got a history of the snapshot that was shared. You've got the external URL. And then if I hop over to my email, I can show you that I've got that exact email that we just um, put together. And it's even got a link to the portfolio. And when I click on that link, it takes me back to that um, polished view of it. So that is how you create a portfolio in Blackboard and how you share the portfolio, share a snapshot of the portfolio in Blackboard. Thanks for listening.